welcome to this presentation on the Foundation Degree in Integrative Counselling at Newman University. This is a BACP accredited course. The University Newman is a small campus and friendly, people like to be um, nearby and in a small based community. Students tell us this has been part of what they've enjoyed about the training here. From the photograph at the top of the picture you can see the Julian of Norwich building and this is where the counselling and psychotherapy staff team offices are and where some of the teaching is. Other aspects of the teaching on the programme take place throughout the campus. So the programme is accredited by the British Association for Counselling and Psychotherapy, the BACP. And the central aim of the Foundation Degree in Integrative Counselling is to provide a theoretical foundation and practitioner training in integrative counselling. And this will enable students to practise as counsellors with individual adult clients. The programme is also incorporating the BACP's online and phone therapy OPT training in core OPT competencies within this mainly in-person training programme. Uh, this means that you'll have another string to your bow. You'll be able to do some telephone and video platform based counselling as well as the mainly in-person training already offered. We do have an excellent reputation in the region and industry and the programme has been running for some years. We're one of the main providers of counselling training in the West Midlands. We have strong professional standards and rigour supported by the programme at Newman alongside the BACP's professional standards that we incorporate within the programme. There's support for all students, uh, from learning support tutors on campus, to helping to develop academic writing, through to other support services, support for additional needs. Um, you can liaise with library staff, redeveloping both your referencing, book and journal finding skills, um, and support across the university from other teams is available. E-learning can be approached by about Moodle, IT can be approached with IT issues and so forth. So there's good resources and facilities to, it to support your learning and development on campus. We have effective relationships with our placement providers and good support is provided to students about their placements when they develop those in years two and three. And we also work with experienced and approved supervisors on our programme and therapists. So what about the teaching and learning on the programme? Well, 17 hours of this in years one and two will be video platform based teaching. And this is in line with introducing some of the BACP's online and phone therapy OPT training curriculum. What that means in practice is that two days in year one and one day in year two, you will have a video platform teaching day on a platform such as Teams. This will mean that you engage with your teaching and your skills practice through that platform and reflect on the medium of that platform, drawing on the BACP's op learning outcomes. In the mainly in-person teaching and training, you will also have traditional lectures, seminars and workshops, reflective activities, individual tutorial sessions, um, counselling skills practice sessions. You'll be asked to keep reflective journals on the development of your reflections on both yourself and relating to others. You'll keep professional logs about your client work when you're seeing clients in year two and three. You'll take part in case discussion groups in year two and three in relation to client work, which you will anonymise and reflect on your work with clients. You'll be taking part in your clinical placements, having external cl clinical supervision for that work too. You'll have access when you're a student at Newman to a virtual learning environment, which is an online learning platform. The one we use at Newman University is called Moodle. Through Moodle, you will have access to the modules you, you are taught, as well as presentations and reading materials, assignment information and guidance too. The programme timetable currently, but we do need to say this is subject to change, but currently, Year 1 meet on Thursdays, 10 till 5.15 on campus. 
Year 2 meet on Wednesdays, 11 to 5.15 on campus, and Year 3 currently also meet on Wednesdays, 11 to 5.15. The total direct contact teaching time is at least 400 hours across the programme. It's important to factor in the additional time and cost commitments on this programme that are additional to course costs. These are personal therapy, which is 40 hours across the three years of the programme. Clinical supervision, which is an hour fortnightly once you start seeing clients in year two and three. Your placement, you'll need to factor in an extra day a week in year two and three to be at your placement. Study time for your reading and for your assignments is on top of those uh, areas as well. And it's also important to factor in travelling to and from university and placement. A further additional cost for the programme is personal indemnity insurance, which all students need to take out in year two and three for their client work. In year one of the module, you cover four modules across the year, two in semester one and two in semester two. In semester one, you cover professional counselling skills. Um, this includes uh, teaching about different counselling skills, as well as beginning to incorporate psychodynamic and person-centred based skills practice. You then put this into practice in triad work with your peers, uh, practising counselling uh, skills and interventions with each other and receiving tutor and peer feedback. Also in this module, there's a personal and professional development group. This is the whole group together with a facilitator where you explore uh, what it's like to sit with yourself in this group relating to yourself and the others in the group. The second module you have in semester one is theoretical perspectives for counselling. This module explores person-centred and psychodynamic counselling skills. The theories uh, on the programme are ways of understanding um, human beings, distress and movement towards well-being. Each theory approaches different ways of considering what it is that leads people to become psychologically distressed and how that approach suggests they get well again. In year two of semester one, you'll have a module called the counselling process. This begins to deepen your work on the counselling skills from semester one. You look at the process between you and your client, uh, how you're responding and relating to each other, as well as continuing to practise your um, particular skills. The final module in year one is ethical, professional and contextual issues. This module um, draws on the BACP's ethical guidelines to consider ethical practice for counsellors and also looks at professional and contextual issues. These will depend on where uh, counselling takes place and you'll consider what that means as you consider how to be a professional counsellor once you complete the programme and consider what employability skills you will be wanting to develop as a professional counsellor later on. In year two, uh, you will have a further theoretical perspectives module, this time looking at Gestalt and CBT approaches. You'll also have professional practice one and two uh, in semester one, then semester two of year two. These are the modules that um, begin the development of your placement practice with clients and support you to do that. Um, professional practice two um, involves having a case discussion group um, as part of your teaching day where you bring anonymised client work and reflect on this with a tutor and your peers. The other module that you have in year two is developing interpretive counselling practice. This is where you begin to draw those four different theories that you'll have learnt together to begin the development of integrating them into an approach for counselling practice. In year three, you have a module on mental health, well-being and distress, considering this in the wider health system and where this fits for counselling and uh, practitioners. You'll also have a further placement based module with a case discussion group. And in the, the final semester of the training, you learn about research methods in counselling. This is helpful for all practitioners learning from evidence based research what it is that we can do to develop as practitioners and also what is seen as being helpful to clients in our work. This also develops the professional nature and status of what we are offering. And 
Finally, the, the counselling placement module encompasses um, placement reviews uh, and that, that you have with your personal tutor during your client work and also encompasses the counselling viva. This is a verbal um, uh, examination at the end of the programme where you will have submitted a recording and there will be questions and discussion about this with two examiners at the end of the programme. The kinds of assessment during the three-year part-time programme include essays, reports, case studies, portfolios, I've mentioned the viva, and also um, might include practi uh, practical skills such as your counselling skills practice, you may be asked to do presentations, and you'll be recording client work and also in, in year one particularly recording peer counselling practice for the assignments. So professional practice and placements, things to think about on the programme. So by the end of the first semester of the course, you uh, join the BACP as a student member. This is because it's a BACP accredited programme. You will be thinking about your personal therapy. You need 40 hours across the three years of the programme. Um, you begin your placement in year two, so in the second semester of year one, um, you'll will be discussion about how to organise placements and how to begin to think about this and similarly how to begin to think about setting up supervision to support that placement. Personal therapy students must undertake a minimum of 40 hours of personal therapy during the programme. The therapist must meet uh, certain criteria so either be BACP accredited or UKCP registered and to work integratively. This is self-funded, typical costs are on the screen here, 35 to £55 pound a session. So placements involve at least 120 hours of supervised placement time. Uh, st uh, students need to have been in weekly personal therapy for at least three months prior to the start of the placement, so a minimum of 12 sessions. Students normally hold one placement at a time. Clients must be over 18 years of age because it's an adult training programme. So students will gain a majority of in-person client hours, that's at least 61 of the 120 hours, but will also gain some online and phone therapy hours, some client work, in line with the BACP OPT curriculum guidance. So clients must be seen face to face for the majority of the client work, a minimum of client, uh, 61 client hours, and this should be within a consistent agency based setting. Sessions are audio recorded for learning purposes. And the agent's client, the agency's clients offer a range of general counselling issues. There's a possibility to um, do counselling work in more specialised agencies, but only on completion of the first 60 hours and only uh, at the discretion of the personal tutor and possibly the programme lead too. So supervision is, uh, once you're seeing clients in year two, you'll need an hour supervision fortnightly, so that's two hours a month, and typical costs similar to personal therapy-ish, 35 to 50, 60-ish pounds a session. Um, this depends on what the individual supervisors also uh, charge. Um, the supervisors need to be approved by us. We do have a list of approved supervisors. And if we need to add somebody to the, to the programme, again, they would need to meet our criteria. So what are the entry requirements for the programme? Well, Newman's Introductory Certificate in Counselling or a Certificate in Counselling at Level 3 or equivalent, this normally includes a face-to-face -face counselling skills training and theoretical understanding too. Some experience of you using these skills such as active listening, empathy, open-ended questions, responding appropriately in a workplace or a voluntary setting such as a helping, listening or supportive relationship is expected. And those without a level three qualification may apply for the level four introductory certificate in counselling um, that we offer at Newman. Further to those entry requirements, there are additional entry requirements. Candidates must also demonstrate self-awareness, maturity and stability. The ability to make use of and reflect upon life experience. The capacity to cope with the intellectual and academic requirements of the programme, the ability to form helping relationships, 
the ability to be self-critical and use positive and negative feedback, the awareness of the nature of prejudice and depression, the awareness of issues of difference and equality, the ability to recognise the need for personal and professional support, and competence in or the aptitude to develop generic professional skills, including literacy, numeracy, information technology, administrative skills, self-management skills, communication and interpersonal skills. So all of these abilities and the competencies will be tested through a formal application, an assessed piece of work from a previous counselling course alongside the individual interview. Newman's record of prior learning, RPEL, may be applied in some situations, but generally for the programme, we need to meet the BACP's um, accredited criteria. So any request for RPEL would need to be considered at um, application and interview stage. Applicants will be invited to attend an interview if you meet the entry criteria, and this takes place throughout the academic year applicants are encouraged to apply early. If you receive the offer of a place and choose to accept it, um, you will need to obtain an enhanced disclosure and barring service, enhanced DBS clearance prior to starting the, the course. For more information on the DBS application at that stage, you can contact Newman to ask what is needed. We've mentioned Moodle as Newman's e-learning resource. Lots of material available for you there once you're uh, enrolled on the programme. Uh, tutorial support and progress. Uh, all students are allocated a personal tutor at the start of each academic year. In year one, this is in small group tutorials. In year two and three, there are one-to-one -one tutorials. You can also contact other relevant staff at Newman, your programme lead and the head of the subject area, should you wish to do so. So attendance on the programme is a minimum of 80% per module. There's no reset option for the attendance component. You may need to retake a module if you have less than 80% attendance. Once enrolled on the programme, you'll have access to the Foundation Degree Handbook, which has more information about this. Attendance is a requirement because it's a mainly in-person training and the reflective activities, experiential exercises and learning are all about developing how you relate and understand yourself as well as with other people. So this takes place in a group setting. So this is a course that's a great experience and students do say this, but it's also very demanding. It's demanding of your time, money and your emotions. It requires much more time than the day you have that is taught each week. Uh, the time requirement also increases from the start of year two, when students also have placement and supervision. All students also require time for individual study and assignment preparation. And please note the additional finance, financial cost for the course, personal therapy, supervision, travel, and also personal uh, professional indemnity insurance that you take out for your client work. And these are not covered by student fees. Personal growth is central to the training. And this is at times emotional, emotionally demanding, as well as highly rewarding. So where does the FD in integrative counselling take you? Well, on successful completion of the foundation degree, you will be a qualified counsellor eligible for BACP registration. <coughs> Counselling jobs are highly competitive and mainly on a part-time basis, but they can be found. Um, during um, the second year when you begin placement and the final year, we will talk to you about the options in the career field for professional counselling and career service can be approached also for support and development. You can also do further study. This includes studying, for example, part time for our BA ONS top up award in counselling studies over two years. This is a level six course designed to build upon the, uh, training such as your FD in integrative counselling and it provides a deeper base to support and develop practice and may widen employment and career opportunities. 
So this, the top part following the FD, if you choose to apply for this program, is designed to appeal to practitioners from a range of professional settings. It's part time and attendance is likely to be two days a week. The learning outcomes will include traditional essays, critical reviews and a larger piece of work, which is a dissertation. This would lead you from a foundation degree to a full top up honours degree in counselling studies. But do note the top up degree itself is not a professional counselling training, but is an academic part time top up programme. If you would like further information about the Foundation Degree in Integrative Counselling, our BACP accredited programme at Newman University, you can email inquiries at newman.ac.uk.